Well, this afternoon here on Victory, the uh, yellow police tape is gone from the house behind me, as are the investigators that had been here for much of the past 24 hours. So many unanswered questions, of course. The most urgent one is why. That is something we cannot answer at this point. Those who live in the area who heard the terrible news on Mother's Day, to make this even more horrible, were bringing flowers to the house where Angela Flores lived for just a few months with uh, four of her apparent seven children. Uh, this according to a relative I spoke with from Florida. Police say under, uh, under interrogation, Angela did admit to killing her children, a 12-year-old girl and twin 8-year-old boys. Again, we don't know why. Apparently, another son, a 16-year-old, helped. This is what neighbors had to say. I just felt compelled to come and just show our respect and um, just our prayers to all, the whole family and the poor children that lost their lives. My daughter goes to school around the area and I just was driving her to school this morning and I heard it on the radio and we just wanted to come and just we felt so sad. We just celebrated Mother's Day and we heard that they were new to the community here and just giving our support. The uh, relative I spoke with from Florida says that Angela was uh, evangelical, often spoke of demons and possessions, uh, possession, and this fits with what neighbors say, Alex and Christine, because there are stories that the woman, Angela Furs, was actually taken into custody in the early morning hours of Saturday night, Sunday morning, hospitalized and then released. And then another 911 call came in yesterday morning, and that's when first responders found those three children dead inside. So we don't know exactly what the timeline is of when they were killed, how they were killed, or what role the son, Victor, who's also under arrest, has played. Um, again, all this uh, something, of course, that investigators will try to figure out uh, in this just unthinkable crime here in West Hills. Live, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.